Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you demo of our college admission management system and it's again J2E application so uh, technically uh, from the technology side it's using JSP servlet and uh, it's Java as a core technology and it's uh, using Tomcat server to deploy the application it's a Maven project so we are using form.xml here it's following complete MBC architecture so different packages are there into this so now uh, let's run the application and check the features and functionality how it's working also for the backend we are using mysql workbench so here is the database and under this database these are the tables applications college courses payment and users okay so to in order to run the application just right click on the application go to run as run on the server select the server is it on it click next click finish okay now if you like if you need the source code you can contact us over the mail or whatsapp and we have complete remote support so uh, we will give you after complete setup uh, you will get the project in this condition after that you need to follow how can you run the application and how can you operate the application so here in the eclipse to run uh, the application i'm repeating the steps again right click on it go to run as run on server select the server click finish it will launch over the configured browser this will be your home page here into the registration page you can or like a student can register so let's suppose I uh, currently in my user table we have only three users one is admin and two students so I'm going to enter a new user over there so I'm going to I'm going to enter some dummy data so last name and father's name mother's name and email address password and the phone number so phone number should be 10 digit number there should be a validation so i'm just using this select our date like you can see like this you can select the calendar and the student address click on register when you hit the registration button uh, the student successfully registered now if you refresh the data you will get the new entry into this mysql database here is the new record so now another user is the admin but we do not have any option to register as the admin but the admin is available admin can log in and perform its operations okay apart from that when i click on the login button here we have some option like if not registered click here it means it can user can register uh, if want and here is a reset button now here is the username and the password for the admin so i'm just going to copy the username and the password for the admin and let's see what admin can do here and then we'll move to the user section so we have a student section under this section the like registered say is data will be displayed there and here we have multiple options like check search, search by email ops email we can receive the re recite the data we can delete the record and again when i move to the home page from here Another option we have colleges. So here I can check the college list. I can search a college by its name and like this and I can delete the college. And these are the existing college names that is uh, available into the database and that is coming here. But also I can uh, add a new college and add course from here. So let's add a new college first. So I just fill up the some dummy data. Uh, the college is added successfully now if i check the college section the newly registered data will be displayed here similarly i can add a new course here again i fill up the form and uh, here what i need to do i need to enter the course p let's suppose 5000 and here i need to go seat 20 seats here i need to enter the description about the course and here we need to enter the course name here we have to enter the course id okay so when i hit the save button and i navigate to the uh, colleges sorry um, on the courses i can see the new course here now how a user can apply and user can uh, like apply for the admission and user admin can approve the things how the flow will be there i'm going to show you that flow in a while uh, another option here we have a payment list so if any user is going to pay uh, that payment will be displayed here uh, 
here we have another section admin admission request it means if anyone any user or any student going to request us for uh, uh, admission the request will be displayed here and after that uh, view detail after view detail i can approve or reject that uh, requested as an admin or also i can delete or reject that uh, application so here now i am going to open uh, another window and my private window and uh, here i'm going to log in with another user that is the uh, student so in the real browser we have a admin login and here we are going to going to register with this user student that we recently added so i just click on the sign in i just enter the username this is the new student that we have just registered so i just sign in by this user now i can see the multiple option apply for the college so these are the college form and applied for my i didn't apply for any college now by this user so it's not showing anything so let's apply some uh, for one college here so i just enter the i just select the select course name for which college and the college name and i just enter the application id and the email id these are the disabled because the, the, we are applying with this user some common information we already have so we don't need to enter it again so these fields are disabled and here uh, our category nationality address another alternative address and the secondary road so i just said mp and 2015 10 i'm going to enter the stream so let's suppose cs and i'm just filling up the uh, dummy data and declaration click on submit then this request will be sent to the admin Currently, if you see under the apply section, I can see the one record and it's in the process and I apply for the course that is the 13 rupees fees. Now, I just moving to the admin account and when I refresh my admin account and I click on the admission request on this bell icon, I can see the new request here. Okay. Now, how that request will convert uh, for the payment. So, when I click on the view, I can see here two options, select or reject. Uh, all the fields are disabled so if i click on the select it means the application is selected otherwise it will display as a reject now i'm going to move again on my student section and i refresh the page now you can see the status is uh, selected and payment is need to pay the payment option is enabled when i hit the payment button i can enter my card number expiry date I suppose i'm entering the dummy data and cvb number click on pay now check the payment list now i can check the payment list for this user the payment list will be displayed like this and the course list the college list uh, all the college user can check user can apply for the specific college from here applied for and log out now and then the payment section if you go if this uh, this is the admin user and you can see all the records of the payment so it's all about the college admission management, mm, college admission management project in J2E Java, uh, JSP and Servlet. So in case you need the source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp, over the email. Uh, if, if you are looking for the, like if you're worried about the configuration, we'll do the complete setup also. If you are interested, we can explain you the source code also. We have multiple services uh, for inquiry. Please connect over the WhatsApp for me. Thank you.